Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. And today I'm doing some upgrades to my PC. I'm going to be installing a Wi-Fi card along with adding Bluetooth. I'm doing this just to keep my desktop free of cables as much as possible. So to do this, I'm going to be using the TP-Link N900. It comes in at $38.95, has excellent reviews on Amazon. And also I'm going to be using the IOGear Bluetooth 4.0 comes in at 11.23, so for about 50 bucks you can be adding both. So for this install, you're gonna need to locate the PCIe slot on your board. Mine is right up here at the top, and I'm just gonna be showing you where this is before we get started. So it's gonna line up right here like that, but you're gonna need to locate it on your board. So the first thing we're gonna do here is remove these back plate covers, and I'm gonna be removing three. Right after this, I'm going to be installing my 980 Ti, um, that's an older video, but I recorded this previously whenever I shot that video as well. So for this, you're only going to need to remove one and line it up to the PCIe slot. But I'm going to have to remove three because the graphics card takes two slots of its own. And I didn't want to have to record that video with the graphics card install and then try to have to put this around it. So I was just going to do it in order that made the most sense to me. So I was going to start with the top and work my way down. And if you guys want to check out that video, I'll have it linked down below as well. We're just going to be lining this up and making sure it is level with the hole and level with the hole in the back where it's going to connect to the motherboard and just give it a little push. Then I'm going to line up the holes over the side for the screw and just tighten that down to make sure this thing is held in place secure. And now the hard part is done. We're going to go to the back side and we are going to take these three little antennas and antenna, antenna, antennas. Yeah, I don't know. But just make sure they are all screwed in and couldn't be any simpler than that. Just give each one a little tug because the ends do turn. So I want to make sure I had them in there good. And then you can aim them whichever direction your router is in your house. Now I have mine in the same room, so I'm just going to stick them all straight up. I'm not really concerned with that. So that's all there is to it, to this part of the install. So right after this, as I was talking about before, I installed my 980 Ti, which I have returned since this video because a few days later the 1080 was announced and I haven't got my hands on one, but I'll be doing a video on either the 1080 or maybe the 1070 or two 1070s, but I will drop a link down below for that install as well. So now we're on to the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is just a USB adapter. There are some other options, but this is the simplest, easiest way, and it has great reviews, and it was said to work with my keyboard, although Windows 10 doesn't play well with my keyboard. Anyways, I'm just going to be installing this on one of my free USB slots. I'm not gonna be using the 3.1 slots, just the slower 3.0 slots, and that's really all there is to it. So now, I didn't forget to say at the beginning, make sure you have your PC unplugged, but we're gonna plug that back in. Hopefully you guys all know that if you're working on your PC anyways, and then turn it back on and make sure everything is up and going. So that's all there was to it. Everything automatically was found and connected. I didn't have to install any drivers. You may have to actually go and install some drivers. That's gonna depend on everybody's PC and build. I don't know what, why mine just worked out of the box, but it did. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to the channel.